An investigation into ATM fraud extends from St. Mary's, Georgia to Savannah and possibly all the way up to Toronto, Canada. St. Mary's police arrested 59-year-old Peter Nikolchvisky and 53-year-old Tanya Petmezova. Police say the duo illegally used credit cards to steal thousands of dollars from an ATM inside the Georgia Welcome Center in St. Mary's that sits off I-95 northbound. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet explains how this couple was caught, and he speaks with travelers who say they are always looking over their shoulders when using those ATMs. Police say had it not been for the Welcome Center desk clerk who was normally positioned right there behind that desk, those two suspects would have likely gotten away with thousands of dollars in stolen cash. It was inside this Georgia Welcome Center off I-95 near the Georgia-Florida border where police say a Welcome Center desk clerk noticed 59-year-old Peter Nitkovishki and 53-year-old Tanya Petmizova. According to the clerk, the couple spent an hour going back and forth to the machine from their SUV, each time using the same kind of card but always referring to a sheet of paper to complete the transactions. The couple was tracked down to room 111 here at the Red Roof Inn Hotel in St. Mary's. Police say Nitkovichki admitted to officers that he fraudulently obtained cash from the ATM and that Petmizova was not involved, but investigators say they found ATM cards in her purse. A search of the room and the couple's SUV turned up 56 ATM cards and $3,700 in U.S. currency. ATM data obtained by investigators revealed 23 approved transactions totaling $3,340. Travelers who use ATMs at welcome centers reacted to news of the couple's arrest and how easy it is to become a victim. And that's shocking. I can't even believe someone would have the mastermind to be able to do something like that. I worry about pulling into gas stations or ATMs. I check to make sure you don't have those devices on them that scams credit card numbers. It's almost more the norm now than, than the exception. The owner of the ATM that was allegedly used by the couple says he has already been in contact with multiple victims. Even if they are reimbursed by their banks or covered in some way, um, through some fraudulent uh, protections that are out there, uh, it's still extreme hassle on, on, on many levels. The lead investigator in the case tells me she definitely expects more charges to be filed against that couple. She also says that she will be in contact with police in Canada to see if those ATM cards originated north of the border. Reporting in St. Mary's, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.